Yo everybody, it's your boy, Dumb Donkey Gaming here, I'm bringing you another Black Ops 3 Zombies video, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get the Void Bow. So the first step, you want to come to this area right here, shoot the wall with your bow, and it will drop the arrow, and then you're just going to go pick it up, and you're on to the next step. So the second step, you want to come to this circle area and you will notice a glowing square. What you're going to do to this square is that you're going to get a melee kill over that square and it will break. And you will see this urn in there, just hold square on your controller and it will make it rise in the air. And you are on to the next step. So the next step, you want to get these skulls, and two of them are right outside that circle area. This is the first one, just go down that path, and boom, click square on it. The second one, you want to follow this path, go up those stairs, and it's on top of the balcony. And the next one is in the teleporter room, right in the sink, right there, just click it. And then the next one, you just teleport to the rocket, and the next skull is on the back of the truck right there. And the next one is right beside Double Tap. Just click square on it, and you are on to the last one. The last one is in Samantha's room in her toy box. Just click square on it again, and we are on to the next step. This step, you want to get six crawlers, and those skulls will eat those crawlers, and this guy will say his name, and you're going to remember his name for a step later on. Play this clip twice. So if you guys heard him, he said heart horn crown it will be different for you it's always randomized and the next part you just gotta kill zombies and you will see these symbols the zombies will drop the symbols and you just gotta pick them up once you're on your last symbol you want to work your way in to the knighting room where all the knights are and each knight has a symbol below them this was my first one I paused it to write it down it's really easy just write it down so you remember if you have like more than one player, just get a guy to hold a zombie for you so you can write it down or whatever you need to do to remember it. My second symbol was horn. So I had to find the horn symbol below the knight. And I believe this was it because, I don't know, I guess this looks like a horn. So I clicked it, that was my symbol. Now I only need one more, one more symbol, and that was crown. So I gotta find a crown. So this was my last symbol, the crown symbol. Paused it again to remember, because you really need to remember these steps. Because if you forget, there's no resetting. You can't go back. The only way to reset is that you gotta end the game, and you do not want to do that. So the symbols that I just got from the knights, I need to shoot with my bow, I gotta go back to this circle area, and I'm typing in his name pretty much, and hopefully I get it right, and if I get it wrong, there's no resetting like I said before, so you really want to get this part right right here, so you really want to remember, and I got it right, he, he tells you it's his name if you get it right, and if you get it wrong, he says it's not his name, when you get it right, the urn just burst, to this like light on the ground and hold square on it and it will turn into the arrow for your upgraded bow then you work your way downstairs to the dungeon put the bow on its chest and then just fill it up with zombie souls and then you have the void bow so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did leave a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next one peace out